Yeah, hi, um, my name's Mark James and I'm here from British Airways this evening. Uh, so yeah, fantastic event. So um, I think I'm one of these people who probably had a perception of Haiti. So I think John Mark has pulled uh, together a great event tonight with some of the key people from the industry. Um, yeah, very impressed and uh, the presentation was fantastic to give us a real feel for what Haiti has to offer. Okay, so yeah, for British Airways, obviously we serve the Caribbean, we serve 13 destinations in the Caribbean, so for us we fly into Punta Cana at the moment, um, we're always looking at other islands we can, could possibly fly to, um, but I think it's probably early days for Haiti, um, but we'll work with John Mark, we'll work with the team in just to try and see how we can uh, work together with that fam trips to try and grow numbers, so never say never, but um, one to watch anyway. My name's Thomas Armith. I'm um, from London, born in London, but I've travelled and lived in many places around the world. And I've just come back from Haiti uh, two days ago. I was there for two and a half, three weeks, working on a contract for the Ministry of Tourism and the Inter-American Development Bank on uh, trying to find out how much money is going from the tourism industry to the local communities and based on the results make recommendations on how we can increase the opportunities for the local communities to make more money from tourism with all the influx of tourists that are uh, predicted to happen in the next five years and the investments that are going to be uh, going forward in the next five years too. It was my first visit, yeah, and the highlights, everything, I would say. Um, I mean, I travelled local, so tap-tap and motor taxis most of the way. Um, I visited loads of beaches, hotels, restaurants, but also I went to markets, spoke to the fishermen as well, had uh, trips on sailboats to uh, islands where there's uh, ancient forts, where the, uh, there was battles between the French and the English, and it was, it, every, I would say, everything there, now remembering out, oh, one of my favorite highlights, here we go, um, was one night I was invited to go to someone's house in a place called Akin, and there was a troubadour band, which is a traditional band. They have seven people playing drums, guitars, etc., etc. And it was a beautiful night, clear skies, loads of stars, the Milky Way, uh, passing the Clérin, which is the local alcohol round, and the troubadours were just playing songs about voodoo gods and everything. It was just the most amazing thing that I've ever done in my life, and I've done a lot of amazing things um, and it just that's one of the things that really stuck in my heart and I think I left a bit of my heart over there and I can't wait to go back again. I think it's a milestone for Haiti tourism, definitely a milestone. I mean, this kind of event has never been done before. There was a pickup of tourism in about 2008, 2009, then the earthquake happened, so that just completely destroyed the image of Haiti, so they had to come back. And this is, this is one of the things, one of the building blocks, I feel, for the future of Haitian tourism. Hi, uh, my name's Angus Russell, I'm um, the planning manager, the product development manager for uh, Ramblers Worldwide Holidays and we're always on the lookout for new destinations that are up and coming, new destinations that are not on the map properly before and Haiti sounds like that's just pretty much uh, the up and coming destination. Have you been to Haiti? No, um, and I haven't actually been to the Caribbean very much since I was in the Navy, which is quite a long time ago, so there's some discovery to happen yet. Well, I think that it's probably consolidated, um, the, the view that we had, that it's a place we really need to get into. Um, it seems to be the exact sort of destination that we need to discover and get our clients out to. There are probably not that many um, destinations like this left in the world yet to be, yet to be opened up, uh, both accessible, doable, and it looks like the infrastructure is becoming, becoming there. Um, before this evening, I was pretty optimistic that we'd be uh, proceeding. I'm almost certain now that it'll, uh, we'll be going ahead and uh, looking, at, looking at some programs for next year. You're very, very welcome. Hi, I'm Josephine. I, uh, I'm on the board of the ANTOR, the Association of National Tourist Officers. I work very closely with Jean-Marc. I'm delighted to see he's now doing Haiti with you for the tourist board. Um, I've never been to Haiti before, so I really, was really excited to hear about it. 
And um, following the presentation, I saw I'm really surprised. I didn't quite know what to expect. I wasn't sure about the infrastructure. But now that I've seen what he's presented, I'm very excited, very impressed. Looks terrific. I've traveled extensively around the world, most of the Caribbean. So I'm really excited about this destination. What's more interesting, I've got, um, I've got flights booked at the end of December to Miami. And now that I know you can get to Haiti so easily, I'm going to persuade my husband and go. It looks like a fantastic place for all of you. I'm really excited for and for Haiti. I'd love to see it. Now, sooner the better. <laughs> so, hi. hi. Okay, well, my name is Derek Moore, and I'm the chairman of something called ATO, which stands for the Association of Independent Tour Operators, which is a bit of a mouthful, but it's a trade association of 120 companies who are all specialist companies who offer new and emerging destinations, which is why I'm involved in this project to promote Haiti. Unfortunately, no, but I'm looking forward to going, which is why I'm excited. Yeah. And could you tell us about the event tonight and what it is you plan on doing? Okay. Well, the event tonight, of course, was to introduce Haiti to the UK media and the UK tour operators. Because if we are to counter a lot of the perceptions which exist about Haiti, so a lot of people see only, have heard only the negative side of Haiti in the UK. It's a shame, but they know about the earthquake, and a few of the stories from the past and so we have to make them realize that's a wrong perception and there's a lot of exciting new things to do in Haiti so we've invited here tonight some people from the media because journalists love a new story and Haiti's a new story uh, as the council said it's unexplored but it's open for business and that to a, to a journalist is exciting it's also exciting to tour operators because tour operators like to go to new destinations so they can be the first or among the first tour operators to sell a new destination. And so the tour operators and the media tonight both learnt, much as I learned a few weeks ago, that Haiti actually is not a place with lots of negatives, it's a place with lots of positives. They learned it's an exotic destination, a new destination, it's unexplored but open for business. And we, this was the start of making people realize what Haiti is all about. And I heard you have a fam trip coming up in September. That's right. In the autumn, we're going to take a fam trip with tour operators. At the moment, there's, um, I'm not sure, a handful of tour operators in the UK selling to Haiti already, but there's a lot of other tour operators who have the right sort of clientele. They want to go to a, a new and emerging destination, and we've got to get those tour operators interested, and the best way to do that is to show them Haiti. So we're doing a trip which I think will be very interesting because I've heard so much about the place and I also suspect it's going to be a lot of fun as well. So we're hoping to get quite a few tour operators in the autumn. Yeah. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Uh, my name's Casey and I look after the PR for G Adventures. I haven't, but I really want to go. <laughs> And um, okay, so what do you think from the presentation tonight? What do you think about uh, the reception? I mean, I'm really excited because G Adventures is launching our, our first trips here in February. So uh, I, I really want to go out there. I think the beaches are beautiful. Like the people sound so friendly. There's so much culture, um, natural beauty. I think it's a really exciting time. Absolutely, that's what we're here for. Yeah, I mean, we're super excited to launch it and um, we'll be doing marketing and PR and everything behind it as well to hopefully bring it back. Uh, my name's Debbie Ward. I'm a freelance journalist and I recently went to Haiti writing for TTG, which uh, it's one of the people I write for regularly, Travel Trade Gazette. It was brilliant. It, I was really enjoyed it. I didn't know what to expect. I like quite undiscovered destinations. I like to feel a bit of pioneering tourism, and Haiti's got all of that. Uh, I've been to probably, I think, around ten places in the Caribbean, and it's kind of not like any of them. You know, it's really uh, unusual, quite African. I felt. That was the first thing that really struck me was everyone's walking around with things on their heads, you know? Like you'd see in Africa, very kind of big market economy. So that was 
that was interesting to see but at the same time you know all the fun stuff that you would expect in the Caribbean like good rum and um, sort of uh, good nightlife and and uh, so on and nice beaches so yeah the mix was really interesting and the history is fascinating yeah Yeah, I must say, it's not often that I come to a tourism and event and I agree with everything that the tourist board uh, or the ministry is saying. Uh, often you think, yeah, you're kind of putting a gloss, you're kind of exaggerating, you're kind of whatever. But actually, all the things I heard today, I thought, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what I'd say. Uh, I agree with what they said about the destination. I think that the ministry's got it exactly right in promoting it to a touring um, clientele. The kind of people that would come on tourism for tourism to Haiti are people who are you know well travelled are interested in touring and seeing culture rather than lying on a beach it's exactly the people they should be promoting it to uh, they're also kind of broad minded travellers who don't mind if they come into a developing country they kind of like go with the flow and also often quite ethical travellers who like the idea of helping a country that's you know had its problems uh, you know and, and, and pioneering a bit so yeah I think they've definitely got the right idea yeah.